Hello, Leo, and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach. I help you choose growth and the healing of your inner roots. I have an intuitive message for your journey today. This looks inside and outside at your world and what's going on in between the two. So let's get started. Right to left, my guides are saying. One card at a time, guys. Daughter of Roots. Mother of Roots. Okay. Eight of Arrows, Oppression. And Seven of Roots, Growth on the Outside. So a lot of Roots and a lot of Sequences. Daughter into Mother, Seven into Eight. Okay. All right, Leo, you've been doing so much growth. I, I know this is one of the cards, growth, but there has been so much growth above and below that you've done and steps that you've made in the outside world to really bring this all together. You know, there's been an engagement, there's been a learning, there's been this trying of new things. The Daughter of Roots is really interesting. She's so curious. It's a curious energy that gets involved in studying something so that it can know it at a very deep level. And with this process of learning and investigating and asking questions and being curious, there, have, there has been a lot of significant growth that you're seeing in your outside. This could be your outside face, kind of your outside persona, but it also could be in material aspects of your world. These are a lot of pentacles cards right now. Now, there's something else. I just feel like, Leo, this is a deeply transformative time for you at this moment. You know, it's your birthday season. A lot tends to happen in the birthday season. We're also in the middle, coming to the end of the Lion's Gate energy, which is really big, big energy. So, you know, I'll tell you from my personal practice that the Lion's Gate energy to me means that we have to be completely clear of anything that has held us back or is negative in the past because that Lion's Gate is gonna amplify it. So if you fly through with only positive, you're gonna get positive amplified and brought back to you. But if you fly through with a little bit of both, then a little bit of both are gonna get amplified. So this is a deeply transformative time and a time to really take stock of how far you've come. Now there's also something kind of waking up. This, something about this energy here. There's a waking up that I feel of something new, perhaps a new talent or a new ability that you didn't really know you had. And so the next month is going to be a lot of that new talent growing and being nurtured and being fully developed. Okay, now I want to look at the insect because this is a little bit interesting. Okay, right away, power, Leo, we're talking about using your power. The oppression card is a fascinating card in this deck. For you right now, I'm feeling like they're identifying you with this hawk. And this hawk is so massive and so powerful, but yet he's engaged in some kind of petty squabble with these smaller, smaller birds. And this is along the lines of Leo, you not using your full power. And we're next to the mother of roots. And so we're, we're talking about potentially the idea of nurturing, but also the idea of nurturing yourself through the material world, going after your full earning potential, going after that big project that you really want. Something inside is holding you back from assuming that full power. So this is really big because to the outside world, you're presenting yourself as the daughter, which is the page in the traditional tarot, the page energy. But inside, you're the queen, the mother. 
the stronger energy, but on the outside, that's not what you're showing. You're showing that you're this, no, I'm so curious, I'm still learning, rather than I know, I command, I own. So this is inner repression, <laughs> inner oppression. It's repression because it's inner. So Leo, <laughs> this is about really owning up to that big power that you see and have seen awakening in you. And it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to ignore it anymore. This is a creative power. This is a, a blessed power. There's a, she's like, there's an egg being blessed, but we've also got these eggs on the ground here. So you feel like something really special is happening with that egg. So this is a big power, creative power. I am very distracted by these seven stars on here. I've never noticed that before. So that would be the Pleiades, perhaps, or, you know, the Seven Sisters. <laughs> if you drive a Subaru, then, you know, you're like me. We have the Seven <laughs> seven Sisters on our car. So, okay, that's not, that's interesting that they brought me into that association because driving your car is also a metaphor for using your power, taking control of your life. The Pleiades are energy from the stars. So this is a divine energy that you are given in this lifetime to use in its full capacity and potential. And something in you is just like, no, I'm too scared to do it. It's too scared to talk about what that full potential power is and too scared to face up to it to yourself. The way you talk about your own power to yourself doesn't fully encompass the enormity of the power. So if I were to, to describe that power to you, what I'm seeing, that's not the way that you talk about it to yourself. You talk about it in a more diminutive form, like, yeah, I'm just trying it out, or I'm, I kind of know it, I kind of have it, or yeah, I'm talented there. But this is more, this is, I have an enormous ability here, which I'm going to take ownership of. I understand that it comes with a big responsibility. I understand that I can use it for positive. I understand that I can use it for negative. It's really a big energy that I'm seeing for you, Leo. It's a big potential. It's big leadership. It's big creativity. It's also the ability it's not just leading by example, guys. Give me, give me some help here. Joy overflowing. It's an emotional ability to pull together many different things, whether they are people or different disciplines, different facets of yourself. You have this ability to pull all of that together in a way so that everyone thrives and everyone does well. Everyone benefits from you using your full power in the correct alignment. It's just, you know, we're overflowing with joy, literally, here, that rainbow at the top. And you're the curator of that kind of the gluey force, the sticky force that brings everyone together, that helps everyone rise up to their full fulfillment, really. You are that glue and you have that potential and for some reason that scares the bejesus out of you. You would rather tell yourself that you're small and that your power is less than to assume it and to really become who you are. This, this hawk is so funny because he's even hunched over. He looks like a vulture. He doesn't even look like himself. And that's, it's comical in a way. When you're endowed with this big thing and you're kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. If you can imagine it, an elephant trying to tiptoe, that's what it's like. You know, an elephant's just like, here I am. But try to, try to imagine an elephant tiptoeing as, as not to break some eggshells. Be pretty funny. So Leo, this is stand up and roar. This is stand up in that power. You know, you are given this energy to curate during this lifetime, to bless others with, to help others with. Um, this is not about, you know, I am great, I am everything. This No, we're not on that side of it. We're on the other side of, I'm endowed with a mission that will really help others. 
I'm given this creative gift that will really uplift others. And all of this, Leo, we need you to walk through that lion's gate strong because you are the leader there. So what you do is also setting the tone for people you don't even know, for the energy of people that are connected to you that you don't even know about. Okay, I know that seems abstract to like, well, I can't just take one for the team if I don't even know who the team is. But there's bigger connections going on, Leo. The energy of all of our signs is cosmic in a way. And what we do is not just for ourselves; it's for the whole pattern of the zodiac and how every sign is woven together. Okay, <laughs> going on a little bit of a strange facet here because we have all of the signs in our charts, really. The sun sign is so such a little part of it. We are really all the signs. So what is happening with you is happening with some facet of everyone as well. And you're the one who has control over this, Leo, this time. So it's really about stepping up in there. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. And I really love doing these videos for you every week. I look forward to it. I also, if you are curious about what I do, who I am, and what I can do for you, please check out the description below. There's more information for you there. I look forward to seeing you next time right here, Leo.